we believe our real, real, real strength is that ICT is everywhere. It's not a bolt-on, it's not something we do extra, it just reflects the modern life, the way in which our youngsters work, and the way in which um, adults work in, in, in their world of work. We use ICT on a daily basis in the lesson, where we have a suite of interactive electronic books for students to access at the whiteboard. The data loggers have got a huge number of uses, and it's really just limited to the add-ons that we get for them. Um, currently we would use them for collecting field data, so temperature and uh, physical parts of the environment um, and also in the lab for recording things like speed and acceleration and so on. Uh, uh, we use interactive textbooks and science um, on Caboodle. All the books we need are set by our teachers and we open, if we open one of the books what we can do is we can highlight key sections so when we come back and do a test we can go look at that and we know which parts to pick out and use. Recently uh, we did a project using YouTube where um, I gave my students in groups a selection of problems to choose from and then they had to design their own mini presentation which was filmed and then fed back to them and, and put on the internet. We're very fortunate we can um, access computer resources at school and we try to make use of games such as Stop the Disaster or GIS games where the computer students get the opportunity to have a go at actually doing some hands-on geography. Um, well, most recently we're doing crime in geography. Cool. Yeah, it was really fun to sort of help out and see. And it kind of helped you learn a bit better, like get a better understanding of what the natural disasters were. And in RS we use ICT to get our point across. I used it to make a video on Agape Love and then uploaded it onto YouTube for the class to see. Um, I, a particular class I've used with the Year 9s, they had to do uh, a complaint and they did it as drama. We were actually able to spend a significant part of the lesson having a look. They could see how they were doing, they could give feedback to other people and it really gave a focus to speaking and listening. Well, basically in English when we're doing speaking and listening assessments, um, we video each other. Um, to see how we actually present ourselves and whether we need to look out to the audience more, speak louder, and it helps us improve our speaking and listening level in English. And it's used in year seven, eight, and nine. We focus on the use of 2D design um, software. Two pa packages here. We have Cubase, which is a sequencing program which we use a lot at Key Stage Three. And we run Sibelius at Key Stage 4, which they do all their controlled assessments on. It's a note and pattern program. And that way we can create better music performances that link in really well with the topic we're trying to do. ICT at Braden Forest School is more than purely the Microsoft Office suite. Website design is taught in all years in Key Stage 3 and it progressively gets more advanced. It starts with students in Year 7 making a web page in the What You See Is What You Get style. By Year 9, students are switching to web design using more HTML code and learning how to embed features in their websites such as YouTube clips, Google Maps and far more. During Key Stage 3 we use a learning platform to create our own home pages which we use to record our achievements and progress at Braden Forest. So we've got several uh, packages which are sort of careers based. We've got things like Cascade, Jed, Pathfinder, which students can access from home through the learning platform and they do various sort of different things. Uh, at Braden Forest we're very keen to make the best use of the data we have at school. Um, one of my roles in school is to identify students uh, to see who's been underachieving. So all staff are asked to enter data on the computers regularly, which I then trawl through to identify students who are underperforming. We use a number of software on Sims and Cicero to help us to identify these students and then set up strategies best to um, help these young students um, to make, maximise their potential. Um, as a parent, I find uh, the Sims Learning Gateway very helpful. I can access um, Rebecca's records online anytime I wish. Uh, we can use this at home so we can talk through her day, how we feel she's progressing and whether there's any areas of weakness that we feel we can help her with. Obviously there's always been a close link. We've had support in in looking at the concept of learning platforms for ourselves and I'm sure that's something we're going to develop going forwards now as well. As part of Safe for Internet Day 2012 I was asked to make a poster for older people, silver surfers, on how to use the internet.